today we are going to be starting our lesson about character traits. A character trait, can someone read this for me on the board? Anna. A word that describes the way a person or character acts. It describes their personality and how they act on the inside. Great. So a character trait is about how you are acting on the inside. It describes your personality. So can one of you, can you guys all think in your brain one character trait about yourself? Some, when you have it, put a thumbs up. Anna, thank you um, for participating. I'm tired. Tired. Do we no. think that's a character trait? No. Please don't shout out. Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs down if you disagree. Thumbs down. Annie, why do you think thumbs down? She's not always tired. She's not always tired. Okay. And why does that make it not a character trait? I don't know. Lucy? It's because it's how they always are. Oh, okay. So character trait is something that you always are. Anna, can you think of something that you always are? Um, lazy. You're always lazy. Yes. Okay, do we think that's a character trait? I don't know if I agree if that is how you are, but do we think that's a character trait? It could be. Awesome, those were great. So, now what we're gonna do is we are going to think about the character Anna, not this Anna, character Anna from Frozen, and we are going to do an example. We're gonna do three together as a class, and then you guys are gonna work on them as a group. And if we think of a character trait, that's something that describes how she is on the inside, we're gonna write it and you're gonna do it at the same time in your in the inside of her. Or and you can also draw a picture if that helps you. If she if you think of an action or an emotion, something that she doesn't do all the time, that is gonna be on the outside because that's something she does if it's something that she does with her hands. So I'll go first and give an example. Because you're looking a little confused. So for an example, I would say Anna makes becomes friends with the snowman do we think that is something that happens on the, her inside describes her as a, as a, her personality or something that is an action on the outside what do you think lucy it's an action on the outside why do you think that because she's not friends with the snowman inside okay she's not friend can anyone help her out do you agree disagree what do you think Anna. Well, it's not something that goes on the inside because it's not something that describes the way she always is or her personality. Right. So it goes on the inside. Okay. I agree. Those are both great ideas. That is friends with someone on the outside. So we're going to draw that over here. She, she becomes friends with the snowman. That's an action she's doing. What, how can you turn, turn making friends so an action that she did on the outside, how can we turn that into a personality trait that would define her? At something that she does all, that she, how she acts all the time. Think about our definition. It's how, how she acts on the inside. Friendly. Friendly. Hmm, what do you guys think? Thumbs up. I love how you did thumbs up right away. No one yelled out. That was great. Okay, I agree. Friendly. So that's how she feels on the inside. Now that we've done this about Anna, what I want you to do is I'm going to pass out a new sheet for you guys, and you guys are going to go around in groups uh, with your reading groups, and you guys are going to, with the main character in your book, you guys are going to find at least 10 character traits that describe the character in the main character in your group. Does that sound good to everyone? All right, so I know that you guys have been getting a little stuck with your question asking when you're reading a book, so I decided to come up with a little chant that I thought would help you remember your who, what, where, when, why questions when you're reading a book, okay? So first I'm going to sing it and then you guys are gonna repeat after me. So first just listen, okay? It's a little rap. Who, what, where, when, why? Come on now, don't be shy. Use these questions when you read, they will help you to succeed. Who, what, where, when, why? Come on now, don't be shy. For the main characters, you ask who, Ask what's what to solve a clue. Who, what, where, when, why? Come on now, don't be shy. Determine the setting by asking where. where when's important, so be aware. Who, what, where, when, why? Come on now, don't be shy. 
Most importantly, you gotta ask why. Now it's your turn. Give it a try.